I'm 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 feeling sick and I know that I have to go to the hospital and I'm avoiding it for weeks. I've been treated so badly in the hospital that it's like triggers this horrible anxiety for me. Like it's it's like really bad. Merida was completely different. So I want people to know not only what Merida did for me, but what other places have put me through. This is PTSD. It is, it is trauma. When I first started feeling sick, I didn't go to the hospital for three weeks because I knew that I wasn't going to be listened to. I try to tell myself it's not because I'm black. They know I'm sick. They know I have these health issues, but every turn I'm met with the exact same attitude. It is very common. Some of the themes that have been emerging are that black women don't feel like they're listened to in many situations. A lot of black women feel like when they come in, they are dismissed or their concerns aren't taken as seriously. There are also a lot of black women that also feel rushed during the interviews and feel like they don't have an opportunity to build authentic relationships with their providers. Not only are there these anecdotal stories that we repeatedly hear in our work here at the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness, as we, we address that issue of healthcare quality, healthcare access, um, women's, black women's experiences in healthcare, um, but the research is now beginning to uh, make it quite evident and indisputable that Black women's healthcare experiences are vastly different than our white counterparts and that being heard, listened to, respected and understood by our physicians and, and other providers is a major problem and it really does make the difference in the type of healthcare we receive. And I went to the doctor, they just looked at me and they were like, you got to go to the hospital. And I looked at the doctor, this white lady, and I said, I want your personal opinion. If you were going to go to a hospital because you were in my position, which hospital would you go to? And she said, I'm going to call Merida or free. And even when I got there, I was still like, this is not going to be any different. I'm in the ER and my anxiety is through the roof. And I'm crying, but I'm cracking jokes because <laughs> that's how I deal with, with stress and anxiety. There's this nurse and she just put her hand on my shoulder and she was like, honey, it's going to be all right. And it's not the honey is going to be all right. It's the way she said it. Like this woman has kids. She's been taking care of people. I believe her. Like I feel my mother in her body right now. And so when she put her hand on my shoulder and she's like, honey, it's going to be OK. We, we got you, we're gonna take care of you. And then there are like seven or eight other people in the room and they're all like in agreement with her. Like, yep, no one's sitting there going like, I'm not doing anything. Like, And I started believing I can look at all their faces and, and see that they were there to do their job and they cared about doing a good job. Like you can tell, you know, I've been sick since I was 11 years old. You can tell the difference. And from then on, it was just like, so freaking amazing how everybody was attentive and everybody listened, listened to me. Nobody cut me off. That was, oh my God, I almost instantly knew I was in a, a better place. The idea here is that one of the most important things that we can do, as my colleague and friend, Dr. Jasmine Zapata would say, is listen to women and listen to black women. It is so valuable for a patient to feel listened to because if they feel listened to and they feel that they can actually trust that provider, they are more likely to then be able to disclose some very important health information that that healthcare provider needs to know in order to make a diagnosis and ultimately give them the best care that they can. The consequences of missing something from not listening to Black women can be a matter of life or death. And we're seeing that all too often. When I was a kid, well, I was still ignored. And in my 40 years of being a patient, this should not be the highlight 
Like, I got a kidney, I got a transplant. I should be talking about, that was the highlight of my medical history. No, being at Meritor Hospital for five days was the highlight of my medical history because I was treated so well. I felt like I paid for insurance out of pocket. Like it was, and this is so important because I know I'm not the only one going through this.